The last collection log challenge we did was so fun, we decided we had to do another. So today, Dave and I are going to be competing to see who can fill in the most sections of the collection log with at least one item in under three hours. The way this works, if you get one item at, let's say, Abyssal Sire, that is one point. But getting any extra items there will still only be one point. You have to move on to as many different sections in the log as possible. Five extra points if anybody manages to get a pet during this, and five extra points to whoever's uniques from the log are worth the most at the end. If you haven't seen the first one, the link to that will be in the description. And if you guys enjoy these type of challenges, videos make sure to press like to let me know so we can do more in the future let's get started but real quick this video is sponsored by opera gx opera gx is a special version of the opera browser that's built specifically for gamers opera gx is also available on mobile the app is called gx mobile and can be connected to the desktop version one of my favorite features of the browser is gx control it allows you to enhance your pc's performance while gaming by letting you limit the cpu ram and network bandwidth the browser can use another thing i love is the gx player which lets you connect all your favorite music streaming services like spotify apple music or youtube music in the browser. Just log in and go. It's that easy. The player also automatically pauses when you start listening to a video or audio in a browser tab, then resumes when you're done. So get Opera GX by clicking the link in the description to support the channel and enhance your browsing and gaming experience. First unique we're going for is some Revenant Ether here from the Rev Cave. It's just so easy to get. I could get it like right now from the end. Yep, there we go. Revenant Ether and Battle Staffs. Like that's quite rare. All right, there's one unique down out of the way already. So the first thing I'm starting with is Barrows. And I have already forgotten to pick up a spade, which puts me like 10 seconds behind. I think I can get bolt racks here easily. That's it's super easy log slot. Hopefully we actually get some bolt racks here, which will count. Yes, perfect. There's our first one, bolt racks. Okay, just got a mark of grace from the arty course. That's another easy unique out of the way. I am literally not going to pick that up because that's a waste of time. We got a rush. I am not losing like 40 mil on this stupid challenge. Here's what I'm really curious if Dave will think of. The Void Knight Seal from Pest Control is only 10 points, which is just two veteran mode games. Super fast should literally take me like, I don't know, like eight minutes or something like that to get this done. There's 10 points. We got to run over to this guy and buy the seal. Void Knight Seal, another unique done. That is going dropped immediately i don't even know what you use that thing for i have noticed i have like 17 different gear sets in my inventory and that's because the next thing i'm going to be doing is the giant mole i think just one kill here is all i need so let's do that so mole is very unique because one kill is actually guaranteed collection log slots from both the claw and the skin so the second i finish shooting this there we go that is one mole kill I don't really care which thing I pick up, it counts. The mole is dead, there is the mole skin, and look, I just got a task completed. Wow, I'm so good at this game. Another boss with another guaranteed piece of collection log loot, Zolora. Yeah, I didn't bring any prayer potions. I just realized something very important, and that very important thing is that I did not remember to bring a recoil ring with me to Zolora. So, yeah, that's not good, but luckily I still managed to get the kill. And let's get ourselves those Zolra scales, 201 of them to be exact. I'm going to write that down because that is relevant for later. I'm just going to loot one of these chests, and I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed to get at least one Hallowed Mark, even on floor one, correct? Yep, there's a Hallowed Mark. That is another slot filled. Easy game. All right, here's another creative one. We're going to do Mahogany Homes. We have to do, I think, five runs, and then we'll be able to afford a supply crate. Yeah, I've got zero points. So this is perfect, so we'll get expert contracts. And these should be pretty quick. I mean, I could probably finish five runs in, like, 10 minutes if, if it takes me longer than that then this might have been a terrible idea all right there is my fifth contract done 25 points let us hurry up and buy the supply crate and there we go another one bites the dust all the stuff i'm doing is guaranteed slots so moving to the next one is a corrupted gauntlet kc for the corrupted gauntlet cape which i'm actually not sure if i've ever done on this particular account but i asked shelby he said it's okay which also probably gave him the idea to do it himself and I am just running all of the wrong directions. Oh, that, ooh, that was close. I almost did not get that run. That is the gauntlet cape, which I guess I did not have. But of course, let's also check the chest. Maybe we get lucky. Uh, oh my god. What? What the fuck? Um, I don't think I've ever had a 1KC pet before. Except for, actually, that's not true. I did have one on my Iron Man a long time ago. Like, my original Iron Man a long time ago. So, all right, well, let's stop with the small talk. I'm wasting time doing this. Here's here's Probita. Hey, Probita, how's it going? 
Uh, yep, there we go. Pet is insured. Next thing I want to get is also going to be really fast. I want to get a volcanic mine teleport. Do I need Numalite on me to pay it? Yeah, I do. Okay, so basically I'm going to run in here. There's a little solo points method you can do where you literally just block and unblock this rock over and over again. And I should be able to get 200 points rather quickly. And the volcanic mine teleport is an item in the collection log. This is a super easy one that maybe not all of you have because volcanic mine's not super commonly done, but you should do it. And as you can see, I'm not cheating on the left side there. We have 200 points. And I'm just going to jump out of here, talk to Petrified Pete, and buy myself a Volcanic Mine Teleport. There we go. All right, since we have no limitations on money we can spend, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some Young Implings. That's probably way more than enough. And try to get a unique from both Beginners and Easy Clues. And if I can get lucky and get one from the shared slots as well, that'd be fantastic. Let's hope we get one in the Easy category. Ooh, that's actually amazing. Um, this counts for both the easy and the beginner things. Actually, I'm going to double check that real quick. I think I can check it here somewhere. I believe that counts for two different slots. It counts for the easies. It's, it's in here somewhere. I swear there it is at the bottom. And it also counts for beginner. So that's a double. I don't actually have to go for a beginner clue now. Ooh, no uniques. I got to do another one. That is purple sweets. That is not what I'm after here, but that's an extremely valuable clue still. That is a shared slot, I believe. Let's double check really quick. Yes, so that is an extra item, but not a medium clue unique. That's another shared unique, which does nothing for us. Oh, no, that's another shared. No, I think I'm going to value this in my shared slot over the other one, though, because those are worth a bit more. So I'll throw that in there for the value, please. Nope. Please. Taking a quick detour here to stop by the Brimhaven Agility Arena. I have to stop doing clues for now. I've, I've wasted way too much time. So I think I just, I move on from them and just keep going down my list of activities. I'm going to get a quick agility ticket here. Go, 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 go. All right, there it is. Brimhaven Agility Ticket. Actually, two of them. I think I can refight this guy. Let me see. Yes, I understand. Let's fight. I should be able to just beat his butt so hard. Yeah, we're going to two hit this guy right here. And he should give me the Shazian armor. Yep, there we go. Shazian boots. Eh, good enough. There's one new collection log slot. Okay, we got the right skull half from Minotaurs. Thank you very much. That was super fast. That seriously only took me like four or five kills. So you won't catch me complaining. Brimhaven agility ticket. There's another easy one. I really hope that... uh. Hope that I have a chance because Dave has just informed me that he's gotten something ridiculous. He didn't tell me what, but he basically just told me that I should give up and surrender because I'm screwed. So I, I, I don't know. I'm scared. I am desperately hoping that I actually get a crate here. All right. Yes, we did get a rogues equipment crate. Beautiful. I don't think it matters what piece I get because any of them are news. Actually never done this before. So I just need one item. It could be fine cloth. Uh, that's actually it. Flame tear bag already. Fine cloth. This is probably worth like nothing actually. Is the flame tear bag tradable? It's not. All right. So I'm going to count the fine cloth as my item from this one then. I'm going to go ahead and try and do a temple trek. I have no idea which one is the best to do for this. I think it's hard trek. And I'm going to try and get myself a piece of lumberjack. Finally got the event. This took way too long. But there's the lumberjack top. Oh my god. The worst dry streak. We just got the T flask. Finally, there's something. It took me 20 two newt roost to get anything it's like a one in three or four chance to get something so we literally went like, i don't even want to talk about it okay so galaxy brain uh thing going on here i'm gonna drop my corrupt gauntlet cape and then go do a run of the corrupt gauntlet to get the cape all right this does count okay don't come in here telling me this doesn't count it totally counts oh my god this hunt lift took forever how long was that it took me five minutes Five minutes for that Corrupt Gauntlet completion, and did we get anything? We got some really good rewards, but there's the Corrupt Cape. Another slot knocked out. See, I'm trying to do this efficiently here, so I am I got one of each clue from uh, Implings that I bought. And uh, we're going to open them all at once. Let's see if we can get a unique for all of these tiers. Get really lucky. Oh my god, the easy. We got two uniques. Per oh no, that's the medium. We got, we got the medium unique out the way. We got the easy unique out the way. And we got the hard one. You have got to be kidding me. Oh wait. And we got Morton Teleports. That's the shared tab done, too. Okay. There's one Zolra kill for the Zolra scales. You know, that is a unique, and I will take it. Also, look at this great gear setup. I brought my Karamja gloves, you know? Obviously best in slot here. One kill. Let's go, Red Satchel. Well, that was extremely painless. I literally just had to do one set of Numulites, and I got my first scribble note in the collection log. 
Very nice. I don't know if I have to keep this or not, but whatever. There we go. Rev Ether. That counts. Here's the Mark of Grace. Let's pick that up and move on to the next thing, which I think we're going to head back to Shazian for like the 80th time and get any Shazian armor piece. Let's fight. Yep. All right. Here you go. Just probably kill him in like two hits. There we go. Exactly what I needed. Shazian boots. Moving back to a little bit more combat oriented stuff. We're going to be killing some cave crawlers because these drop bronze boots. And that's in the Slayer log. Starting to get a little worried there. Uh, went a little past the drop rate on this, but luckily they're extremely fast to kill. So there's bronze boots, and that's going to knock out the Slayer tab thing. Okay, I just did a Temporos solo real quick. Only five points. I was trying to get it done quickly because that should be more than enough to get Spirit Flakes. And that is a unique in the Temporos log. So let us grab a net from the Spirit Angler. It makes you go through so much dialogue. What a terrible human being. And let's see if we can get lucky. I think it's like one in three chance. There we go. We got the Spirit Flakes first try. I just bought and burned some Urium Shades to get a random assortment of keys, hoping that we get something like an Amulet of the Damned, or really any unique. Obviously, you don't need anything specific. So let's hope we can get lucky on this first inventory. It does not take long to get these keys, so it's okay if we don't... Find cloth. That's... And an Amulet of Damned. Okay, we're good. We got it. All right, now we're doing Temple Trekking in the hopes that we can get the encounter with the zombies where you get the Lumberjack pieces. So I got the event, and I've killed like five Lumberjacks, and I haven't gotten the drop, and they... Did they seriously stop spawning? I thought they kept spawning until you got a piece of the outfit. Okay, finally. It took me 10 kills in total to get this item. That's a 1 in 4. I'm getting a little bit dry on some things, a little bit lucky on some things. Can't complain, though. And, uh, you know, let's get let's get an XP tome. What skill are we getting XP in? Mining? Oh, 1,000 mines. So worth it. Next up, I'm going to be going for a bronze defender. I think it'll be a bronze defender. I also have to wear the max cape because I don't want to go get the tokens, and the max cape gives you the bonus of not needing Warrior's Guild tokens since that's the attack cape, skill cape thing. So I should only have to kill around 50 of these if my RNG is good. If I go drop... Oh, okay. Hey, we got the Bronze Defender. This game's so easy. You can tell by my inventory, I have a bunch of grubby keys, and we're actually going to be heading over for the miscellaneous slot now, and we're going to be going for either the orange or blue egg sack, because I think that it's pretty common, and it's technically buyable, so it shouldn't be too bad to get. There it is. That was very quick. Wow, I bought a hundred of these. I have no idea what the drop rate is. Maybe that's, like, incredibly common, so I guess I'll just... Head back to the bank, sell all those. There's probably a lot of stuff in here, but I don't care. I'm on a time limit here. All right, let's see if I have even a vague memory of how to do this. I think I, like, go to this rock over here. All right, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 200 points. I have 201. There is a volcanic mine teleport. Very, very nice. I'm running out of stuff to do here, actually. So I think I'm going to go back to doing mediums, and maybe we can finally get that one knocked out, too. Back on my BS with these clues... Still no unique. Another day, another unique. Oh, oh my God. Hey, there we go. My notes after hopping through like five worlds, we finally got one. We also got a mangled bone at the same time, which is great because I need these for uh, elite clue steps. But you know what? There we go. We got it out the way. Let's move on to the next thing. I'm running out of easy things to do, so we might move on to some crazy stuff now. Okay, so I thought this might be a good idea doing Seragnus for the egg sack. It's only 1 in 20, I think, so it shouldn't take too long to get, like 20 minutes, but I'm starting to look at the timer. I've only got just over an hour left, and I'm like, maybe I should go do some other things, because there are some other things that are a little bit more guaranteed that also take about 20 minutes, and it's just like... Oh man, I'm getting stressed. I'm getting anxious. Okay, my hopefully big brain moment. I've just remembered that there is a creature right here in Tarn's Lair called a Terror Dog, and it has a 1 in 128 chance to drop a Granite Helm, which is a unique in the Slayer section of the collection log, and a unique in the Barbarian Assault section of the collection log. So if I can nab this item, I'm getting two sections completed at once, which is just insane. And I kind of have a feeling these guys, they totally do drain your prayer points every time they hit you. So I might need to bank. There it is, dude, the Granite Helm. We did 71 of these guys. Also, I ended up bringing the Serp Helm so I could Venom them. You know, pro tip if you're ever in a collection log speed run challenge. You know, these happen all the time, especially randomly around the world. You know, it's just like a martial arts fight. They just pop up out of nowhere. Okay, now I really, really want to get a Gargoyles task, so I'm literally going to be just skipping every task at Duradel, wasting all these Slayer points I've saved up for this stupid challenge, just so I could get a Gargoyles task, because if I kill the Grotesque Guardians one time, 
I get a granite dust drop, which is guaranteed. So that would be an easy slot. Although if I go through like more than 500 points, I will just drop this idea because I, I actually don't want to use all my Slayer points. Oh, dude, there we go. The Gargoyles task. Let's gear up one kill. It's going to be like two or three minutes for an entire section. Oh, it's so good. And he's done. Do we get any combat tasks for this? I feel like I probably did at least one thing worthy of a combat. So yeah, I did like what the hell is this dude <laughs> why'd i just do like nine please 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 give me unique bro please oh my god honestly if i don't get this here i have to switch activities yes i i'm almost positive right the stole is specifically medium i think right yes it is amazing all right so the stoles are specifically medium thank god all right i need to switch activities and I think I'm going to do something that potentially makes me a little bit of money, even though it's going to take some time, which means I'm heading over to the mage training arena. There is absolutely no way that he has also done this. I'm going to be going for the beginner wand from here. I don't even know where the heck this thing is. Uh, mage training arena. I, I don't know. It's on here. I promise it's in it's in there somewhere. I, I can't waste time looking for it. I don't know how long this is actually going to take but I need to do it. I, I feel like making a little money is probably worth it for those extra five points. I'll be honest, I genuinely don't know if this is gonna have been worth the time, but uh, this and probably one more inventory and then we're good and we'll go ahead and buy the thing. This is the last room I needed. I really don't like MTA, but I mean, who does, right? Let's go over to the rewards guardian and buy ourselves a beginner wand. I hope I didn't screw the points up, nice. There we go. Beginner wand obtained, and this thing is actually worth a little bit of money, 129k. It's kind of why I wanted to go for it, so at least I have a chance of winning that aspect of this. And with the, like, 20 minutes I have left, I think I'm just gonna try and knock out a couple hard clues. Maybe I get a lucky unique from there, and that can add to my total. Shout out to this YouTube luck guy for playing Trouble Brewing with me. What a, what a great dude. And now we're going to buy a bottle of rum, drink it, and unfortunately... Oh, wait. Okay, I was, I was going to make a little joke, because when you drink this, it does the death animation and teleports you here, but, you know... I'm the joke's a little dead now. All right, we're barrows for five seconds to hopefully get bolt racks. Yep, there's bolt racks. There is a unique item. I almost forgot about this. I genuinely almost did not do this at all, and it's the freest thing in the game, dude. There we go. Rogue's equipment crate. Took like three extra runs and a piece of Rogue's equipment. Let's get the mask. I don't know. It looks cool. There we go. Bye. Okay, my last YOLO play is here with the czars. A lot of these czars have a ton of like one in 512 drops of unique items here, and if I can get any of them, obviously that's an item, and it might have a chance to to be somewhat valuable like if i get an obsidian piece that would be amazing and that would pretty much secure me hopefully those five points from having the most valuable uniques overall but uh you know we could also just get nothing because again they're like one in five twelve and i only have 15 minutes left Let's see what we got oh there are two uniques in there um i'm gonna guess the enchanted hat is worth a bit more. wow those are both pretty worthless so not really any benefit towards the the value kind of proposition but hey i did not expect to actually get a unique from that so that's amazing i now have next to no time left like 15 minutes i think i'm just gonna go to cam dozel maybe there's something i can do there i know nothing about the content though inventory of these but i'm not sure it, it took a while so i think i just uh baronite crusher what the all right it's right over here i found it I just need one unique and I will be happy. So let's see if we get it. Oh, we didn't get one. All right, I, I got like five minutes. I can probably squeak out maybe half an inventory with that. All right, with time just about to run out, I got a few more Baronite. I have probably just enough time to do this. Uh, Wait, actually, what random is this? Oh, wait a minute. I have like a minute left. All right, I, even if I get something here, I have to immediately start hitting the stuff on the anvil. Otherwise, I won't have time to do it. I, I think I... Oh, it could be an emote, though. Oh, no. If it's an emote, I'm going to be so depressed. Please? There we go. Yes! I got mime gloves. It doesn't matter that I got two things here, because, uh, yeah, it, it would fill the slot anyway, but oh my god, he's going to be so upset if he didn't get a random. So maybe we didn't get anything from Cam Dozel, but you know what? I am more than happy with that. I feel like I had a pretty strong performance. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing there. But I guess uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, well, there's the three-hour timer up. No uniques from Zars, unfortunately. Pretty unlucky, actually, considering the fact that I probably got to kill 
like a hundred or so of them and the overall drop rate is probably around like uh, nah maybe i didn't get unlucky but you know what it's unlucky in my heart because i was really hoping to get one more thing since i have this terrible feel like i'm gonna lose and if i lose two collection log challenges in a row are you guys ever gonna respect me again probably not all right dave we're done with the challenge three hours is up i'm gonna need you to type your total points you got in the chat and then we'll do a little countdown and see who got the all most right. and then then we'll check for like value and see who gets the five points from the most value all right, let's see. You got it. your points tight? All right, three. Yes, sir. Two, one, go. Oh, you smoked oh, really? me. Oh, man. Yeah. What? You smoked me. How'd you get 28? What the heck? I, I went insane. I... Okay, let, wait. I, let me open up my uh, Mahogany Home Supply 24 oh, steel bars. You're done. Oh, You're no. You're done, kiddo. Oh, you got the black pickaxe for the double? That's yeah, lucky. Double? That's lucky. Ooh, the beginner wand. You actually... You madman. What else is even tradable? I don't have much else tradable. All right, boom! All right, you got anything else? Oh, you got more. Okay, okay, I got a little um, excited there. Oh, did I win this? Is that I it? Think, I don't think I have anything. Oh wait, else. I've got I've got one more. The granite helm. All right, that so was how many good. points does that put you at? Thirty-three. So it puts right? me at thirty-three. Yeah. All right. Well, that makes me feel really sad that we didn't make this an instant win. But uh... make what? What the fuck? Wait, how many gauntlet do you have on this account? Have you ever done it on this account? One Casey. You're you're so full of it, dude. <laughs> one casey <laughs> all right so you're not gonna bully me about the twisted bow anymore right because like this is much uh, worse i don't know man i mean I, you know eh. pet is worth all five right. points wait did you um did you count that in yeah. your points i did not so. okay so you actually got tied with me if you don't we count the value with yeah with that the, was oh, that was close down to the wire that was crazy all right so wait so how right. many points i got 20 33, 33 points right. oh yep fork it over come on baby all all right, right, yeah. all right. You right, can, you yeah, come out yeah. with a pet. Actually, you lost thirty three point five mil because you got to insure yeah, that bad yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said early in the middle of this, I was like, yeah, I gotta pause my timer real quick. <laughs> Let me just run over there. Exactly. All right. You know what? Thank you for doing this challenge. Not only because I made over ten mil an hour, which was a great time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a pet. I mean, I think this was a good video. We got to do more like this. Thank you guys for watching the video. If y'all enjoyed, you know what to do. You press all the stupid buttons down there, and please comment if you have any ideas of videos you'd like to see. Y'all said you really enjoyed the last one, and if you enjoyed this one, just shoot ideas. I'll write them all down in the notepad file, and me and Dave will literally spend forty hours a day making these stupid videos anyways any final words dave you know i want i want my money back i'm kind of sad about the bet <laughs> one kc pet you're never getting this back, all right pal. fine yeah you know what people will roast me if i say if i say anything <laughs> negative so you know what yeah ggs you know collection log man finally takes back his trophy let's go